Hi, I'm Roger Luo. If you don't know me, I'm the brown bear on GitHub, Jula Slack, and other places. For the last year, I've been helping launch a new startup company called QR Computing. QR Computing is a quantum computing company. In QR Computing, our mission is to build a quantum computer in code atom system to compute hard problems. We use Jula extensively to build our software. For example, we use Julia for our simulation. We use Julia to do our schema checker. Uh, we also use Julia for our own research. So we're very excited to see all the progress of the community in Julia 2021. Now let me talk about what we're doing in QR computing. So what is quantum computing? Back in 1981, the world famous physicist Richard Feynman thinks because the nature is quantum, we need to build a machine that uses quantum effects to simulate nature. Quantum computing is a new paradigm of computing that aims to build a machine that makes use of the quantum effects so that we can solve many impossibly hard problems such as simulating quantum system and solving optimization problems. In QRO, build such hardware in the river atom system to achieve this goal. In Rebrick system, we can place the atoms in nearly arbitrary positions to express complicated quantum metabolic systems. Here, on the top, is a demonstration of our atom array system and what it looks like. By entangling the atoms via Rebrick interactions, we can implement standard quantum gates, as well as multi-qubit gates for running quantum algorithms. The company is founded by a group of world-class scientists, such as Misha Lukin, Laden Velati. Marcus Granner, and Nate Gamicki. While having the star team of quantum hardware, our software and algorithm team includes well-known members from the Julia community, like Jingguo Liu and me, who are the main authors of the open source quantum programming framework Yao in Julia. That is, we have full-stack software built with the cutting-edge technology in Julia programming language. Our Rayburg system emulator is built with Yao and Julia to simulate the Rayburg dynamics. Let me demonstrate how this looks like. First, we can define 20 atoms on square lattice with fielding factor of 0.8. Then we can define a symbolic expression for our Hamiltonian. Generate the underlying unit disk graph so that we can create a blockade subspace and define a sequence of Hamiltonians. Running the emulation in this subspace, will give us a register. We can then, for example, run measurement on it. Because we work closely with hardware, the units are important. This is also natively supported by the unit 4 package. For example, the rapid frequency has the full unit of megahertz. If we give our parameter a unit, it will be automatically converted to megahertz. By working closely with the team of Pluto Notebook, we also build a set of optimizers to solve the classical optimization of QoA algorithm with the Pluto Notebook-based graphical user interface. Internally, we can control hardware to execute the jobs defined with the Pluto Notebook interface and plot the result back in the browser. An overview of our workflow will look like this. One can define a problem or just program with quantum circuits and then encode them into a Ripper Hamiltonian. Our compiler will accept the Hamiltonian and then send it to either the quantum processor and the quantum emulator. At this point, you might want to ask me, what is it like working in QRO? My overall experience has been great. The software and algorithm team is full of talented people and I learn new things every week. We start working on a Julia-based software stack since last summer, which is quite exciting. And I had chances to access cutting-edge quantum power and run classical optimizers on it. So uh, if you're interested in working with us, please consider setting us an application. We're located in Boston. This is our, our address. If you're interested, feel free to visit us on site. Thank you.